All right, so we're gonna do some um, Mortal Kombat 2, and um, this was a game you know I haven't played in like years, literally. Um, so let's get right to it, man. This is it's gonna be it's really great, you know. Um, definitely, this is gonna be the arcade version, so. So let's get right to it. I'm going to fire up the uh, arcade version of Mortal Kombat 2. So I'm going to just I play, I play a few characters. You know, I'll go through the game um, just to kind of point out a few things. I don't remember all the fatalities, though. That was the thing about that game. All of the all of the four, the fatalities that you had to do. Um, So I'm going to build the game first. I'm going to um, actually take uh, one of my um, other games. So what I'm doing now and I should show you how I build these games, but eh, it's not necessary, you know, it's just it's not really necessary. I just don't wanna cause any headaches like, oh man, someone did that. Like who did that? like where'd you get that from it's like I can't tell you all that but I can but I'm just like not gonna condone or endorse it You're like hey look this is where you can go get everything you know so this is here's a one-stop area you can get all the stuff I have um, so it's free it's downloadable it's not there's no restrictions it's just main the multiple arcade machine emulator so All right, let's get right to it. Mortal Kombat 2. All right, so you can see, like, <laughs> this is the actual, you know, configured version, but we're going to configure the sound a bit so we can hear it. By default, it's the sound is down, and it just says, "Hey, you got you got to take the dip switch off." And you just want to hit F2. So what I want to do is configure my controller now. I want to go to input this game. And you definitely want to configure the hat switch. And this was like the best intro, you know, you've ever seen. So I got my quarters. <laughs> and um Let's play with some Scorpion, man. I haven't played Scorpion in like Scorpion. Round one fight. Now 
these guys are like not too bright on the first. I'm playing against the computer here. Scorpion. Scorpion is just like the shit, man. I don't care what you say. This was the, the game when this thing came out. A lot of people are like, what? Oh, man. Like, I don't care what you say, man. You could, you could play any game right now, man. But if I get a group of guys together... Not the online streaming. I'm talking about bring them over and just get some drinks going. We play this all day, man. I mean, kids were lined up. Let's see if I can go for a double flawless here. Nice. There's a lot of other things they introduced to this, man. Kong Lao is uh, he's a really... So here's where the bug, I think, starts. Not really a bug, it's more a pattern. Well, they jump, you know, they jump towards you. I mean, it's so fluid, man, what, what I'm playing now. I mean, it, it was, this was like 90, I don't know, 95, 90, you know. <laughs> I mean, I love that, man. That was just... I love the guy in the back just floating, you know what I mean? Oh yeah, that's it. Ooh. I mean the Jax, he has a he has a nasty backbreaker. I like the takedown. Oh yeah. So if you do, you know, the down down up up and then high punch, you could do the fatality from anywhere on the screen, so you know, a lot of people never a lot of new kids never played the original Mortal Kombat 2 because it's not around. But you know, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta respect the ones that pioneered all those. And that's a, that's like a, it's not a glitch or anything. It's just a uh, standing punch. But if you punch them in the right area at the right time, you get like a. It's like a massive hit, and it pushes you back. And it happens every once in a while. <laughs> Baraka. Don't get don't get chopped up by this guy. He's I mean, don't get chopped up by this guy. This guy's blades are just insane, man. And he has a really long He has a really long like kick. It can hit you halfway across the screen, uh, the, the, the screen so it's it's really nice long kick. Oh yeah, it's my favorite stage. 
I like the whole... That spawns so many rumors in the back. Oh, no you don't. <laughs> I mean, the green Liu Kang and the fire Liu Kang. That spawns so many rumors, it was like ridiculous. Like they thought it was uh, another version of Reptile, perhaps. Oh, I tried to go for the flawless victory. This was the new thing. Scorpion wins. Fatality. And I get to put my name in there. Awesome. But that was the new thing, man. The the pit fatality. Everyone was like, what? Now, she was deadly with that. That roll was just... You really gotta watch out for that roll. She's a really powerful fighter. You know, one-on-one. -on -one. They should have, you know, more Mortal Kombat 2 tournaments. It was so balanced. This was like one of the most balanced games ever, man. I mean, it really was balanced, and you, you do something in this game. I'll let her live. You do something in this game, and you get punished. Well, I like the word kill. They, you know, most people say punish these days, but... Now, what was unique to this game when it came out at the time was a couple of new things they put in here just to kind of humiliate the characters, the players. And uh, to do them, you gotta use only the kicks. <laughs> and so that's, you know, his is down, back, back, and high kick, you know, so all of the ninjas were very, um, very much the same. I don't care, man. That, the big realities are just flawless victory. Another cool thing about this game, you know, again the pits, the pit fatalities. I should have did it the first time, but this is the this is the first one. <laughs> so you hold low punch, low kick, and then you hit the uppercut and knock them into the pit, so... So the mirror match, the thing unique to this one was the mirror match. And um, it wasn't unique to all games, it was just the mirror match in a particular spot. So, we're gonna unlock another secret here. And if you're really good with the spear, you can catch someone with the spear when they sweep. So, if you use only the low kick on the second uh, match, you're your game winning match on that particular stage you unlock a passage to the out uh, outworld and so supposedly this was an undiscovered warrior from Mortal Kombat 1 
And it made a lot of people go back and play this game again. Alright, so this is the introduction of Jade. Jade was like really fast. You can see she's extremely strong. Oh yeah, and it takes a lot of hits to, to take her out. And she has the same moves as Katana, except the flying moves. Oh yeah. And that's how you knew her name was Jade after she handed you her, you know, her ass whooping. Oh yeah, she when she gets you in a corner, you better pray you can get out of there. As you can see, I'm just working my way out of this corner. Holy crap. The good thing is you can select a brand new character, so let's... I'll keep Scorpion and keep going. Which, of course, the question mark. So now we see a, a younger, a brand new Shang Tsung. So Shang is, you know, this Shang is a lot better actually, but this is the first time you can play with Shang. Apparently he lost so many times, you know, Shao Kahn just made him compete, He's like nah. Either that or the, the game developers are like, hey, you can play with Shang soon. Finish him. Let's finish him in front of his boss. <laughs> Scorpion wins. And I just love this, you know, Shao Kahn stages. And again, we get to put in our name again. <clears throat> That was the thing about the arcades. You like go up to play and you see initials like 59 wins. It's like, what? So this guy's not like Goro. He is nothing like Goro. He is uh, a little bit stronger than Goro. A little more unpredictable. So he's a lot faster, actually. Kentaro's just a big guy, man. But the new Mortal Kombat, <laughs> yeah, just steps all over your body. I love it. Oh man. Oh yeah, that's a double punish right there. He's done. Just lay down. <laughs> he just steps all over you, man. It's like... I like how he just talks. Oh, yeah. Just, I put that foot in his mouth. He didn't say anything. Don't make a mistake with Shao Kahn, man. He's strong. Well, don't let him get you in the corner like he's about to do me. He's just kind of staying. It's, it's like he's laying down with his hands on his hip. I'll probably play one more character, but yeah, Shao Kahn's a strong guy, man. Oh, he's done. I love this, man. I mean, that's, that's probably like the best, you know, 
that's how you lose all your quarters right there you just stay there and, and there's the clue at the bottom says who is Jade but that's how you lose all your quarters you're like what beat the game but um, Sub-Zero apparently um, was being protected by this guy but um, it's like what it's like You know, who wants to, you know, it's all the cast members, but it's pretty cool, you know, so, so we could just start, we could, we could go with another character, we'll probably lose to a lot of them, but, um, reptile. let's go with, like, Reptile. Round one I'll just do Reptile, you know. <laughs> Reptile was a little bit, you know. I know all about this guy, you know. He's freaking. Oh, he found me. That move was like slow, but I'm gonna tell you, in a when you're in competition, man. That move was like deadly. Cause you couldn't even see him. You could get back here and just you could walk forward and just be right in the grill. I love this one. Round one fight. Oh yeah, just keep throwing them. Just keep throwing those sides. <laughs> so that's how you play with reptile. You gotta disappear, man. You gotta learn to disappear upon the kick. Until they find you. And so, I don't know what he does. I... I can't tell you what he does to her. You know, he disappears and like uses his mouth to eat her. Oh man. <laughs> I hit him, I beat him with the, you know, the the orb. Oh. Oh. I just love how the blood pools down, you know. This game was, you know, I don't care what you say, this game was insane. You could fight. <laughs> I tried to get on the other side of him and just like <laughs> I was actually proud of this game um, in Street Fighter 2 because think about it man how many African Americans do you have in a game you know compared to mostly Caucasian You know, even the video game industry is still sort of biased. You know, Disney figured that out with the uh, Princess and the Frog. They said, "Holy crap! We made all these movies so for so many years and never made a movie with you know an African American character to start, and it's still only one." He hit me with that kick. So the video game industry is, you know, I don't know if it's easier to draw white people, but maybe it is. 
so it, it was it was still you know it's just diversity in video games just a diversity issue oh I've never seen that right there we both hit each other I'm glad I captured that Oh man. Bad move, Johnny Cage. You're done. Go home. Before you do, let me get that head. Fatality. Look at that. It just pulls to the ground. It's like And this is this was one of the most violent games ever. Oh yeah, don't jump to her. She will hand you a new one. And that's that other glitch, what I just did. Where well, some moves do dam more damage than they're supposed to. <laughs> At least the AI is smart enough to jump over me. And I'm done. Look at the background, looks like Raiden. Now if you get somebody in a corner, you can do a jump kick, two taps, two low punches, and then an uppercut. And I'm going to tell you, this game had spawned some, some combos. I mean, I think the biggest one I've seen, Liu Kang's five-hit combo. She was ready to just knock me away from that. Oh, I was going to take her body off, like, just detach her head or something. But his five-hit combo in the corner is just dangerous, man. Yeah, let's see how, you know, Luke Kang. You don't want to mess with Luke, man, because you can see he's already picking me off. Slowly. All he needs is like a couple more hits. It's so balanced. If you don't react quick enough, they're gonna just take your head off. Oh, I thought he hit it, but apparently he didn't. He's done. Oh man, I love how the stage moves at the bottom. I thought that was cool. So if you didn't see that, you know, if you do that fatality, you know, the stage moves. So this is interesting. Um, like I said, the mirror matches are anywhere because you fight your opponent anywhere. And I mean, but this is this is interesting because uh, this is like a this is like the abyss except that oh he did it on me I found him I guess we're having a spit war here. Yeah, it looks like he's just, he's lost. So that last part, I definitely just took it to him. Just started countering everything he was doing, so it was round one fight. Yeah, these ninjas, you could. <laughs> First time I seen him use the. You know the make the, the ice to make me slide. So it was, I, it'd be nice if we could just jump right in the back and just start walking back there towards the portal. I'll probably end up doing another Dark Siders. Uh, I have to like. I have to get some info on a uh, Visual C runtime. 
I might have to find like some hot fixes or something, you know, so. Because that's what it uses. It uses Visual C 2005. Maybe there's a um a Dark Siders patch that needs to be applied. I'll just have to Google it and find it. Oh man. I love that version of Raiden. This version of Raiden is just like he's fast. He's a lot more balanced too. I never knew what he says though when he does this. He does his flying move. He might do it again. That's the original Sonya Blade back there. It would be nice if she could play in the game, too. I'm not going to go after Jade again. I you know, beat her before. It would be a nice reunion, though. You don't want to screw around with Kung Lao. <laughs> That's the first time I did that. That was like a oops. And then it connected anyways, you know what I mean? Oh. Guy's fighting back. That was like the, the worst fail I've ever seen right there. Yeah. So that's what you don't want to do with... With reptile. Reptile is so slow. I mean that hat will just cut him down. I don't know if that's a computer thing or not, but I'm just gonna finish the guy off. I think he's uh done here. Just drown. Fatality. Alright. Got him. I think what I'm going to do is probably a prelude to my next video. I'll come back to this and do some more, uh, more combat, you know, in another video or something, just to kind of show off a few, few, other, few of the other characters. I'm not like doing this one time and be like, oh yeah, this is it. No. Things happen. And that's why I put the dates by my video. And I got that just in time. Like a half a nanosecond later, it would have been like, no, your time's up. And that's the thing about this game. You've got to finish the fatalities like before the time is up. I like how he just body slams me. I know Kentaro's like, what's that? Oh, yeah. That double uppercut just murderous, man. Yeah. I don't know if that's a bug or not. You know what I mean? So what I was doing was, I, I found this bug, or I'm not sure if it's a bug or it's a spot or a timing. He just you can up you can counter his uppercuts. Yeah. <laughs> I just put him right back in the corner. He he just cleaned my clock with that one. 
<laughs> and like I said, you hit him. In, you hit him with the uppercut, and it's like, you know, he just backs off. I don't know. Maybe, maybe he'll get more aggressive. Shao Kahn's a big guy, man. Ryan Glenn was the actor who played this, so I don't know if they took a regular photo of him and blew him up a bit. But I think that's his actual height. Both of us won our deathbeds. No. You know, Reptile. Reptile was unique, man. And that's the, you know, Smoke. That was the introduction of Smoke. And, um,. I guess he he worked he ended up being working for Shang Tsung. So Shao Ka or uh, Shang Tsung asked him, you know, one of this reptilian dudes to just kind of help him out. <laughs> and I like how they replaced his actual head with the reptile, which you know I'm not gonna talk bad about it, but if you look at his game costume. It's a white guy. You know, if they had colored his the white guy's neck green, it would have been pretty cool then. Or, you know, at the time, we didn't have the technology to do a lot of stuff. So, it was, you know, this was the introduction of something new. This was stop motion videos like, hey, you know, this is pretty cool. You know, but we knew it was a white guy. We said, oh, wait a minute. You put a reptile face in there, so. But uh, those guys, Ed Boone, Boone and Tobias, you know, those were the two guys, man. Dan Forden was the other guy. And um, it's pretty cool about what they did was part three. They created this new guy called Noob Sabat, which is Boone and Tobias' name, you know. So those guys, they know they're in for money and. I'm really waiting on the new Mortal Kombat X. It's going to be just beyond Mortal Kombat. They get to do what they want with the new technology these days. So that's it, man. There they are. Young Ed Boone, John Tobias, man. Dan Forden. Tony Goski, you know. All those guys were young, man. And, uh, and this is when they packaged it with the Revolution X game. It's like, you know, coming soon. And there's the other one. So I was just talking about that, Mortal Kombat 3. And I just happened to see that. I'm, ga I'm glad I captured that for everyone. So that was pretty cool. And of course, that explains the original Mortal Kombat. They should have just kept Goro around. And um, of course, Liu Kang is showing Liu That version of Shang Tsung was so hard. I mean. And when you beat the game, man, you beat the game. But, you know, he had Shang Tsung begging for his life. <laughs> Alright, so let's try it. We're going to play a different game. And uh hope you enjoyed this session of uh, Mortal Kombat 2. More to come. E eventually, with some more Mortal Kombat 2.